So a few days ago, I watched a video by Carrie Hope Fletcher titled, What Are We Doing on YouTube? And I really liked that video because I found that her and I shared a lot of the same views on what's going on in the community and, you know, looking at it, there's a lot of change that's happening and it's kind of a shift almost to more creative content and people trying to be a lot more creative with their stuff, um, which I find really interesting and kind of cool actually. So. Some of you may noticed that I haven't been uploading as much recently and a good part of that is because I'm on an exchange in England right now and don't really have much equipment with me or time because I've been traveling a lot but something that I've struggled a lot with recently is the creative aspect. And especially nowadays too, when YouTube is becoming more creative, um, I find it, to be honest, quite difficult coming up with good ideas. And I've been in this kind of slump because part of me wants to make more films on my channel, but then thinking about the analytics behind it and my demographic and basically the numbers part, most of my views come from covers. Um, I started it back in 2011 and for those of you that have been around that long or even just gone back to my older videos you'll have noticed that they're pretty well all covers and a big part of that and very similar to why Carrie started her channel is because I wanted someone to see my music and hopefully be able to help me start a career around it. I've been singing since I was like a baby basically and um, have been doing singing competitions and musicals and plays and it was always a really big part of my life and I wanted to do it as a career for as long as I can remember. It was kind of just a little bit after the whole um, Justin Bieber getting discovered off YouTube and I know it's kind of one of those things where it's like oh yeah Justin Bieber you know but that was my dream that was what I wanted and here was this guy from a small town in Canada who was able to do it and so I thought you know maybe maybe I could become successful like that and not even for the fame but just for being able to turn something that I loved into my job. And then sort of as I progressed through high school, I realized I also had a really big love for making videos. A lot of the stuff I taught myself and through editing YouTube videos and I kind of developed a love for that. And now, even though I still love music and would love to make it a career, I've kind of branched out and would love to work in the film industry or would love to work in some sort of entertainment industry making video. And I think that's something that you really need to have when starting a YouTube channel. Um, not necessarily the skills, but a reason behind why you want to start and um, sort of a talent that you want to share with people, whether it's a talent of singing or just talking, connecting with people. Um, whatever it is, you have to have something that you want to share. And like Carrie was talking about, you know, you can't just start it for the purpose of being famous because your audience eventually will start seeing through that and, you know, it's one of those things where it's you're using it, for me anyways, as a portfolio. So, you know, if one day in the future I am looking for a job, I can say, you know, look at my YouTube channel because everything on there I'm, I'm proud of. And, you know, you want to make content that at the end of the day you're, you're proud of and want to show people. I think in this day's world, a lot of it has become about fame, um, which is too bad, but I think 
that's just how it, how it is. I mean, especially with YouTube, I mean, it's become this thing where it's easy to become famous because you're doing it yourself. And I think it's due to this lack of creativity that I started making challenge videos um, because they were quick, they're easy, um, they were fun to film, fun to edit. But yeah, I think that's why I did them because they were easy and um, having trouble coming up with ideas, you know, it was easy because the idea was already made for you and you didn't have to necessarily think, you know, you didn't have to think and you could just go through the whole YouTube formula of hello, my name is so-and-so, um, today we're doing this challenge and do it and then at the end like and subscribe and see you next week. It was a formula and it was easy and it got good response. And honestly, I've been kind of nervous to share my opinion on that because I'm one of those people who doesn't like to offend anyone. And I know a lot of people out there have their channels dedicated purely to challenge videos or tags. Um, and a lot of the content they make is actually funny. Um, but I just, I don't really want to do it myself and I think that's something that I need to grow from and start getting inspiration and not being nervous to put out certain ideas just because I don't think people would like them or because that's a big part of it you know you come up with an idea and you think oh I don't, I don't know should I put it out there will people like it will people not and I think that's a big thing you just have to put it out because you like it and at the end of the day it's your channel and even though demographics and numbers might say a certain thing at the end of the day your channel should be made of content that you're proud of and that you want to share with people Anyways, at this point I feel like I'm just rambling. Um, hopefully that made a little bit of sense, um, but I'd love to hear your opinion on it. So, you know, if you have any opinions on what's going on in the YouTube community, feel free to share them in the comments below. Um, I'd love to see what you have to say and we can have our own little internet conversation, conversation below. So that's all for this week. Um, I head back to Canada next week actually, so, that's a little bit, that's a little bit bittersweet. I'm going to be sad to leave England. It's been so amazing here, but um, covers and short films will resume next week. All right, bye.